mile work is 183.011 miles per hour. You've got here she's green right now let's see if he can stay in the throttle next to the corner he's actually gaining a lot on the exit of the corner right here now can he just not overdrive turn three where he can come off the exit of turn four real fine line here he's building a real nice margin though as far as he goes down in that corner still, still gaining. gaining wow losing a little bit there it's like maybe tried to pick the throttle up too soon but it's looking awfully good here got plenty of margin to work with and he, he knocks it. bill elliott off the pole the fast man in practice. Here he comes. I mean, look at how far this green wow. bubbles over here. He is looking awfully good. Lost a little bit of time there off turn four, but I believe she's still going to be plenty good enough. And it is. Yep. By seven one hundred. Newman's first lap puts him on the pole. Can he knock Gordon off the pole? Got one more chance, and everybody's, almost everybody's second lap has been quicker. He needs 33 thousandths of a second. But there you see he was about a half a tenth quicker halfway down the back stretch. Let's see what happens right here. Flip back to red, back to green. I believe he has it, boys. Just, yes, Ryan Newman by 25 thousandths. You see Jeff Gordon up right. He has just been knocked off the buck pole. I tell you what, Ryan is probably the best qualifier of anyone. I remember in the Bush series, uh, it seemed like he was always in the front row, if not on the pole. And just an incredible qualifier. That guy, um, just a fast driver. Oh, he got it in too deep down in one, Jamie. That's that's good if he did that, because that seemed to really kill me this morning. Four poles this season for Ryan Newman. 23 top 10 starts this season, more than any other driver. Will he get a fifth pole today? Here he comes. Two, three, and four. Survey says. Go in a 50. Hold the phone. He ain't done yet. And his lap in practice was a 2707. So this will give us, I think, a pretty good judge on where the racetrack's at. There you see the pace chase. She's green as he heads down into turn three and gaining. He can get off the corner right here. Lost a little bit of time right there. It's coming down. It's going to be close. Did it. Ryan Newman again. Makes you wonder why they even hold qualifying for the pole. <laughs> this is a good gauge uh, of just how fast this racetrack is and how much it's changed, if it has at all. He, of course, he was the quickest in practice at a 28.89. Now, the track record here is held by Jeffrey Bodine at a 28.07. We won't see a track record, but that was right after the racetrack was reconfigured, repaid, had a ton of grip, and he definitely ran around here that day wide open. Oh, yeah, I was, I was here, and, I, and he never lifted out the throttle all the way around the racetrack. It was incredible. See, on a Fox tracker already from turn two to the, halfway down the backstretch, he's up to second quickest. We'll see if we can get through turn three and four if she moves over there to the pole. Had those left tires there it on is. that white line. Oh, there he, it is. He made up a lot of time right through the middle of that turn. And it's staying there solid. It's not even wanting to bounce there. 28.96. He's on the pole on his first lap. He is fast every week. It doesn't matter where we go. Fast and fearless. He is. If he could ever get the speed that he gets in qualifying, if he could ever get in the car to drive like that in the race. Boy, he got a run off, too. He did. I mean, he was, boy, he was just rocketed up. And he's back in the throttle hard down here in three and four. Looks pretty good. It's the kind of lap you like. Paul! T90! Looked pretty good. I believe that. Looked made, pretty good. Made Schrader look pretty boy, good. Boy, he sure did. I mean, 1490 Stop. on the half mile Stop. race track. Come in now. Unbelievable. Last year's Bud Paul champion, Ryan Newman, <laughs> his second lap. Wasn't hey. bad. It would have been good for third. How you like that, Jeffy? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
rocket man Ryan Newman on the racetrack and his teammate Rusty Wallace on the pole. Let's see what the all tell Dodge can do here. He went around Bristol and it is faster or faster than anything I ever thought I'd see and I just wonder if he can do that here at Dover. The last 10 races he's qualified in the top 10. He's fastest right now. There you see it. If he can get through three and four, right around the bottom, race car looks good. Oh, it looks really good. And he got off of that corner excellent. There it yeah. is. I mean, he beat Rusty Wallace, his teammate, by two tenths of a second. Green, but, but he got it wouldn't shut up. Would I he? know. Marty, if you'd have just hushed, he might have stayed in the green. But it's going back that way. It's green again. Green, green, green. And look at it going the right way. This is the green side. The bright side. His teammate Rusty Wallace currently third. And Newman making a run at the pole. Oh, man. He's got it. Remember, fastest car in practice. I don't know if that lap scared him, but it sure scared us. Provisional pole, Ryan Newman. Look at this. Wow. 52. Oh, my goodness. Here comes Rocket Man. Let's see what this track will hold down. You see what he did? It went red getting in the corner. Jeff, what he did, he eased it in the corner. It went green in the middle of one and two because he picked that throttle up and stayed in it. But just as he came off two, I saw it go back to red just for a second. Really started dancing around a little bit right there, but let's see how he gets through three and four and what it looks like when he gets back to the strike. Newman trying to take the ball away from Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> He'll do it. <laughs> did it. 29-09. I mean, this year, 17 top 10 starts. Track record holder here, and it's green, green, green on Pace Chase. Green, green, green. He ran 28.55 in practice. The track record that Newman holds is 28.802 seconds. Oh, that's history. He just broke that. That's just history. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's history. You're right. By a bunch. 28.56. See what lap two looks like. Yes, sir. He's going for lap two. Remember, we've seen some cars pick up. We've seen some cars not pick up. We'll see if this car, see if he got it all that first lap. Getting off of turn four is going to be the key here, Larry. See if he can do it. And he yes. does. Oh. Ryan Newman. New track record. This car is wound up. I mean, it is on kill right now, which is a big key to running this fast lap here. This is the same car that he sat on the pole with a couple of weeks at Lowe's Motor Speedway. 199 miles per hour into turn one, and that's just that's after taking the green. That's the fastest I've seen so far tonight. That was the fastest through turning one and two. And look at this. The green bubble continues to be moved further away from the center. If he gets through three and four, this is going to be an awesome lap for this, this team. 182 through three and four. Larry. That's the lowest speed right there. 191 at the line, and by three full tenths of a second, <laughs> Ryan Newman blows away Elliott Sadler. We've been seeing most everybody pick up about a tenth or tenth and a half on that second lap. And, uh, Jeff, you pointed out, you know, that first lap could have been affected by how he came to the green, so we'll see what this second lap's like. First lap was two tenths off the track record that Rusty set in coming 2000. Back, it's coming back. It's going to be close. The green. It's going to be there. It is. 26.931. Seven one thousandths of a second faster than Brian. Yeah, but it was 26.93. Seeking his 11th Bud Pole Award of 2003. What did Elliott say he thought he would run a 35 or a 40 or something? Yeah. 
Green, green, green. Oh, he got up the oh look at that thing move. He got up the racetrack a little bit, one and two, but didn't seem to hurt him too much. Green, green, green. Here's where it counts right here. Oh, a jump again to the right. Let's start looking up the track record, shall we? Oh, oh look, look at that slide. Close, close. Did he? Oh, whoa, what's it? He got it. Oh, oh by one oh. eleven thousand oh. of a second. Man, that was tight. He has definitely been pretty dominant in qualifying here. He was third quickest in practice. His time was a 28.97, 191.34. This was the car they set on the pole with at Rockingham. They also said, we've nicknamed this car 1490. I said, what do you mean 1490? He said, <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> it's what the time they ran at Bristol, Bristol. with this yeah. car last yeah. year. Well, he won both poles here last year, so it shouldn't come any surprise if he wins it again this year. First lap, 28.64. Here's the track record holder, Bristol. Ryan Newman in that 12 car. Right around the bottom, picks up the throttle, gets a little loose off of two there. Heard him complain about that in practice, that he was a little loose off of two. Car looked pretty good, though, Darrell, pretty solid. Let's see what he does here. Poe, 1495, didn't quite break his track record, but he beats his teammate, Rusty Wallace. All right, here we go. Black one was 38th, by the way. Whoa, a little slide, but... Still green. Still green. Oh, he may go in the red now. Yep. Well, Oof. right at it. Just right, very close. Jimmy. There's a little hope here, Jimmy. So, oh, sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jimmy. Yep, I think it's all over. Here he comes. Looks like it's in. Rocket Man has done it. 28. 776. Ryan Newman with an incredible record of accomplishment in a short period of time here at Richmond looking for the butt pole for tomorrow night's race. I think we'll be seeing a lot of green right here, Benny. I'd be shocked if he doesn't sit on the pole. Just shocked. Man, he got through one or two. This is the first lap, and we can see the TNT pace chase says green, green, green all the way. Ouch. And he ran a 21 flat in practice. What does he do here? By a bunch. Yeah, about a flat. <clears throat> 20 97. New leader. <laughs> 191. 177 miles per hour in the middle of the corner off the throttle. Green light going to the right. And look how quick he gets up to speed down his back straightaway, Larry. This is what you got to watch here. Is can he keep it down close to that white line? It bobbles just a little bit. But he nailed that throttle to Jeff, right and he in stayed it. in it. But it's going to be a great run. She looks like she may be in the 60s. 28.59, 188 miles per hour. Again, he's just taken the green flag here now. And he was, he was green light coming to the flag. But you see right there how slow these cars get in the corner, almost down to 60 miles per hour in the middle of the corner. And what the pace chase showed us, he eased it into the corner to get back on the throttle early. Oh, yeah. This is going to be maybe in the 50s, looks like. 1950s, let's see it. Survey says. 1951, almost in the 40s. That breaks the old track record by three and a half tenths. You know, we call him the Rocket Man, but I was looking through a book that has just been recently published on Ryan Newman. And they used to call him Racing Ryan back when he was young. I mean, a lot younger than, than now, back when his uh, midget days and little quarter midget stuff. It's really uh, impressive to watch him, the way he's able to find speed. Right now, we're green lighted, guys. As, uh, he rolls off down there in turn three and four. Let's see if he can get it back to the start finish line and uh, back up that fast time from this afternoon. Where he's so strong is off the corner. That's where this clock continues to get faster there. This is going to be a pole run right here, I believe, boys. It is 28.95.
Here is the rocket in a new Altel paint scheme. Nice bright blue, easy to spot. Four straight Atlanta poles, three straight Nextel Cup poles. What's it going to be, folks? I believe she's a pole run, boys. She's there. 26.55. He broke the track record by almost three tenths of a second on lap one. Hold the phone. He is faster yet on lap two. So get you some of that, and I'm going to give you some more to think about, boys. Whatever shade of blue that is, get some. How did uh, Tony Stewart put it? He said, I may have been a pole run for the moment till Till he got out here and Ryan Newman had a chance, and he's just keeping on going. He's, he's just getting faster. Jeff, I think the difference, you, that car just looked like it was oh. stuck to the racetrack. He picks it up six 100s to 26 49. Just noticed some of the fans down in the stands there were buckling up seat belts. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little breezy in the stand right now. Call him Rocket if you want. I just call him Mr. Hustle. He just gets after it when he gets ready to qualify. He drove her down into turn three, and of course on good tires here, the hopes are, DW, you can pick that throttle up well before the center of the corner. Got up off his bottom just a little more than he liked to off of turn four there, but still looked like a pretty good lap. <laughs> I'll say 31.08. See, I don't think this format bothers him at all, because you think about that car, Larry, week in and week out, always on the pole. But sometimes they seem to miss it a tad for the world. He got a little loose right there. He did get a little bit loose, but this looks like this is going to be an awfully good lap. You see right there, she's pretty solid. It's not even bumping around right there. 197 miles per hour, and that's at the end of the shortest straightaway. Boy, that thing is dancing around, too. I mean, he is handling that. He's manhandling that baby. I believe this is going to be. Probably uh, when you see how fast it is, you'll know why. Golly gee, 40. Look at that, 28.48. You just never know how fast this cat's going to go. Darrell, when you're running these speeds here, especially if it's going to happen on the first lap, you know one of the real keys is how you get through three and four coming to take the cream. He just, he's pegging the old tracker, I know that. Just watch this miles per hour. Right at 199, solid 199. The piece looks pretty good, boys. I believe our tracker is actually locked up there on this. I yep. apologize. He broke it. I think he did. 2798. About Ryan Newman. Fast, aggressive, in the gas, no holds barred. Of course, he's never won a pole here, so that would be uh that would be a first for him as well. And he ran a 3748 in practice yesterday. He picks up three tenths, and that would put him right there just in front of Tony Stewart. Two on two at the end of the back stretch. Oh, 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 they lost a little bit of time right there. She bobbled. This thing here hadn't bobbled, DW. It is solid right now. This is definitely going to be a pole run here. Looks like it's going to be maybe down about in the O's. 37 O's, 37 06, 194.2 miles per hour. Well, guys, I think we're going to find out exactly how good Kyle Bush is left. What? Now, Ryan Newman, <laughs> he's already he's already on the on the pole for the Bush Series race tomorrow. Kyle Busch won the pole at California, second race of this season. Looks pretty good. Right now, looks like possibly down in the 2280s, 70s, maybe. 2277, that'll go to the top of the charts for Ryan Newman. Speaking of solid, Larry, I was watching him come through that uh, through three and four, and he really was carrying a lot of speed through there. See what he does down there, yep. one and two. In the dog leg, the car didn't look loose, hang on to it loose, it looked loose, fast loose. Oh, we got, boy, he got picked up a right lot now. of ground in the middle of one and two to the throttle, and again, that carries all the way down this back stretch. I don't know, what do you think about a guy that wears the same costume every Halloween? Pole man. Look how much ground he picked up, man. getting back to the throttle in three and four. I mean, what a difference in it, and again, it helps that speed all the way down that front this was stretch. Incredibly fast lap, 2864.
happiest I've ever been, I think, winning a poll right now, just uh, the season we've gone through. But uh, um, it's great effort for the Altel Dodge. And yeah, I was definitely nervous sitting up there. I was, you saw me going through eBay trying, <laughs> trying to find something to buy, I guess. But uh, just um, you know, thank Matt and everybody back at Penske Racing, Penske Jasper Engines. Great effort, uh, great uh, performance, and hopefully this leads into something on Sunday. Looking forward to the second race coming back, how important it can be for a lot of guys in the top 10. 36 poles for Ryan Newman and just 170 career starts. Took the pole at Dover, Delaware earlier this season. His only pole of it's 2006. Green, green, green. Yes, sir. Pretty good right here. He was sixth quickest in practice. His time in practice was a 29.48. He's trying to better a 29.37. He get off this turn. He lost a little bit off the four right there, Larry. Late exit. Back. Late exit. He does it, though. And we'll see if Ryan Newman is the rocket tonight. Here's the Alltel Dodge. In every Atlanta race with time trials in which he has competed, Newman has timed in first or second. That is quite a record. Be a tough has, one to match up. It has that look. That thing was bottoming out on the straightaway. She is down on that racetrack right now. Well, that's the way the thing used to look all the time. It's like it's eating up the earth. Yeah. Did it. I'd say 2870. 28 Whoa. That, he hadn't done that in a long time. And he might have one tonight because I tell you, when you see him smiling like that, I haven't seen him look that confident before qualifying in a long time. Got his first bud pole here. He's got five of them at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Uh, you see when it down in the bottom like that, that thing is digging. You better believe it because what he did, he picked that throttle up, he turned it to the bottom, and he never had to think about cracking that throttle. This car looks a lot like it did back in the day, <laughs> which was about a year oh, ago. Yeah. He had 10 Lost. straight starts here in the top four. Not in two, none in 2007, but he's back. It's the rocket gonna be is close. back. Oh, yeah, 29-14. Uh, up a little bit. Yeah, just not quite digging like we would want to see this 12 car when he's on a pole run, but he's looking pretty good. He was able to pick that throttle up in the middle of one and two and stay in it looking pretty good halfway down the back straightaway. Well, Newman was 12th in practice, so he's picked up a bunch. Oh, yeah, he likes to rock it. And you know what he did? He eased it down into turn three, and you know what? He's on he it, baby. that throttle he up and stay in it. He got 23 it. 23.54. He goes to the top of the charts. For the 22nd team to make a qualifying attempt here this afternoon at Pocono. Ryan was seventh in the morning practice. I just think I think the Penske guys always put out some good power for this racetrack. Seems like they, Rusty always run here, good here with the Penske stuff. Anybody, the Penske cars, like you say, have, have always just really, really, for whatever reason, it matches their engine package right. almost to a T. Did you enjoy racing here, Wally? I loved it. I love racing here. I know sometimes things get strung out, but I, I think it was I think it was one of the funnest tracks we raced at really? as far as the driver goes. I, I really liked it. It was the closest it was the closest oval, if you want to call it a round track to a road course that we run. So it was all even when it was strung out, you were still focused on what you were doing. Newman trying to take the pole position away from Kyle Bush. Does it? to beat at any racetrack, but particularly at this one. And it's close. So far, so good. He's right there. Uh, here he I comes. See green. Jimmy's watching the tracker as well. I said, oh, he's in green as he dipping down. We'll see if Jimmy will smile if he goes back to red. Nope, he's still in green. Oh, and it's climbing right now. He's got a good run off of turn four. That thing is flat sailing off of turn four. I I he said he thought it. he had it already. He knew <laughs> in the car. Oh, oh. Oh, good job. 28.512 seconds, and he does it. Ryan Newman on the pole. Wow, what a run. What a lap. All right, time to fire off the rocket and see if Ryan Newman can improve on his track record, which is ex almost exactly half a second faster than what Carl Edwards it, has run. You know, Tony was talking about how they've changed the track just a little bit. Not so much. There used to be a gate right back there, and the and the wall used to come in to the uh, onto the racetrack a little further than it does now. That was a tough corner getting off of two. You always clipping that wall over there as you came out of turn two. They opened that up a little bit, made it a little bit easier. 
Pole shot for Newman so far. Oh yeah, 26.97. First lap, he goes to the top of the chart. Well, there's a good run up off of two. Good run looking right here on our tracker. Ryan Newman in this yeah. 39 car. Carried a lot of speed out of there, and this guy knows how to get around this joint. Seven poles here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. He's locked onto oh, one right now, looks to me no like. No question on this one. This is solid as a rock. Boom, Newman, 28-65, top of the board. Oh, oh, man. Here's the rocket. Ryan Newman, 18 trips to Charlotte Motor Speedway. Four poles. Plus, he started up front a couple of times on points. She's Eight smoking this total. She's smoking down that back chute. I know that. And look at the line that he took through three and four, but he lost <laughs> a lot of ground right yeah. in the middle of the I am, I am looking at it, Larry, and it ain't working. But I don't know, Daryl. Well, yeah, maybe it is going to work. Yeah, they like the fuse. Yes, darn. the rocket lifts off. He is all over that time of David Rudeman's, and this would be lap one for Ryan Newman in this Army car. The Rocket Man, they've lit, they've lit the fuse. I mean, just look at that right there. Close to a tenth and a half. Woohoo! He goes to the top. You said in the teens, Daryl, 28.165 for Newman in the 39. And I'm going to say it, that's a, a new track, track record. record. Here is the Rocket Man. He's pretty good at qualifying. Yeah, I think he's got that figured out pretty yes, well. Yes, it is amazing. Yeah, look at this first lap. Yeah, he just has that ability, Carl, to get everything out of the car. I mean, just carry a lot of speed and back in the gas. He's not going to need two laps. Wow. Guys, there's nobody to go. If he can get it here, he doesn't need to run another. This is what we've always seen from Ryan Newman. He's going to get it. He's going to be good. not too far from what he sat on the pole with okay, here tonight. Now wow. what do you do? Do you run another lap? Shut her or down. Or? Shut her down. Wow. <laughs> they all know they have to get it done down on this end. They're probably not going to better Jimmy Johnson. They just need to have a big cushion before they get down to turns three and four. See the wide arc that he makes there. Get a good run off of turn two. Here's the critical corner. Yeah, is this car going to have the grip that he's going to need right here? He's got a tenth in the bank right now. He made a nice arc into that corner. Yeah. This is where Johnson was so strong. Going back the other way, the time is. Can he hang on? Going to be close. Newman or Johnson? Checkered flag. Oh, he did it. Newman. The last driver to run. I'll admit I was emotional. For me, it's special because it's the Brickyard. I hadn't won a pole here before, and I won so many poles. Um, but it's been so long. It's been so long since I won a pole. It's like uh, people ask me if I ran out of fuel for the Rockets, you know, that type of thing. So uh, it's uh, it's special for me uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, being home, being in Indiana, being the Brickyard, and being so long, uh, not winning a pole. So hopefully we can turn it into a good day tomorrow. Wicked Loans Chevrolet comes out to try to snatch the pole away from Casey Kane. And he will do it on lap one, 2793. And, and that is a new, new track, track record. record. He beats Casey by half of a tenth. The Rocket, Ryan Newman, looking for his seventh pole at New Hampshire Motor Speedway.
and not to downplay any of the rest of the drivers to go, but but I feel like Jeff Gordon would be the guy they're going to have to really watch. Lap two is quicker. 27.90. Congratulations to Ryan Newman, our poll winner in New Hampshire.